Reading Rocket. Disney's Moana 2 The Great Voyage. Adapted by Natasha Bouchard. Ever since Moana restored the heart of Tafiti, she has been a living legend on the island of Montanui. Storytellers share her tale as an important part of the island's history. The people of Motunui now honor their voyaging past. They build new canoes to sail beyond the reef and to the horizon. Moana returns home from an ocean voyage. She was exploring other islands, hoping to find other people. There is so much more for Moana to discover. One day, she hopes to share the entire ocean with her little sister, Simia. Moana's ancestors call on her to find the lost island of Motufetu. It was once the gathering place for all of the ocean's people. The journey to the far sea will be long and dangerous. Moana gathers a crew and they set sail on an epic voyage. The crew members have never voyaged before. They are not prepared for the challenge. Moana shows them that an adventure at sea can be exciting. She convinces her crew that there is nothing better than sailing out on the vast ocean. After a few days, Moana and her crew think they see the island of Motufetu up ahead. Moana soon realizes that it is actually an enemy ship and is heading straight towards Moana's canoe. The Kakamora are preparing for battle. Moana and her crew panic. But the Kakamora are not chasing Moana's canoe. They are trying to escape a giant clam. The massive sea creature sucks up everything around it. It is blocking Moana from her journey to the lost island. The Kakamora are also searching for Motufetu. They team up with Moana to defeat the clam. Moana prepares to throw a spear at the clam. She thinks it will be easy but everything goes wrong. Their canoe is in danger of being swallowed by the clam. At the last minute, the Kakamora chief's son comes to the rescue. Kotu zips on their canoe and throws a toxin-filled spear at the monster clam. The clam begins to close. Moana's canoe and the Kakamora's ship are about to be swallowed, but Kotu cuts the rope to save the rest of the Kakamora. Kotu, Moana, and her crew get sucked into the clam. Moana's canoe plummets into the clam. As they fall, Moana gets separated from her crew. Bats suddenly swarm, and someone appears behind Moana, startling her. It is Matangi, a demigod who offers to help. She tells Moana that to find what she is looking for, she has to get lost. Moana takes her advice and is trapped. Matangi tricked her. Meanwhile, the crew finds a familiar demigod tied up. Matangi trapped Maui too. The crew retrieves Maui's magical hook. He sets himself free and helps them find Moana. Soon after they find her, Moana locates a secret portal. When she opens it, Moana, Maui, and the crew are sucked through a tunnel. They are spit out with their canoe into the far sea. Maui warns that the far sea is cursed. The curse can only be broken when a human reaches Motufetu, now at the bottom of the sea. Determined to find the lost island, the crew battles waves that transform into a menacing water monster. Moana steers the canoe over enormous waves while Maui battles the storm. Then Maui dives deep into the ocean and finds Motufetu. He tries to raise the island, but the powerful storm tears him away. Moana dives into the dark waves and gives in to the unknown. She reaches Motufetu and helps Maui raise the island. The curse is broken at last! Soon, wayfinders from distant shores arrive to meet Moana. The wayfinders place tokens from their home islands on Motufetu. 
Moana is proud to reunite all the people of the ocean. Moana sets off on new adventures. Wayfinders from other islands join her to explore distant lands. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe for regular uploads. If you have a favorite book you'd like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, friends!